And welcome back guys, welcome back to Cossacks European Wars against Germany yet again. Welcome back, this time around we finally resupply the entire mine with everything and I totally forgot that I was not recording so I lost like three minutes and that was amazingly evil. Nonetheless, we are gaining uh, level four, we actually we gained the level four for our beautiful mine. So that's the last level. Now we're gonna be getting a lot of gold on this mine. It's gonna be amazing. It's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be sexy. And again, we are having issues with pathfinding. Again, this is the first time I'm seeing issues with the pathfinding itself. It never is like this. I don't know what the hell is happening here. Uh, again, Cossex to me is not like I, I never ever had issues pathfinding, and I never remember having issues with the pathfinding. It's just you have issues with the pathfinding and certain things just don't like having a pathfinding and this in this case it was in Cossack that was specifically the peasantry the peasants don't want to listen that's why they're peasant and I'm God and that's quite a quite quite a difference quite a difference nonetheless getting more gold as soon as we get more and more people full amount of people inside the mines it's gonna be amazing we're gonna be making a lot of money which means we're gonna be able to finally get the upgrade for the bows and finally make a massive amount of frigates or battleships because we do have an upgrade for the battleships and I believe they'll cost a fucking fortune but thankfully we have a massive amount of gold 163,000 people sorry wood and that's gonna be amazing in itself because again more wood well more power to the people so to speak and that's it you know it's just gonna be wow amazing and of course we're gonna be build the best ships and the best girls and it's gonna be amazing party I'm back at the sea and also we still need to find a yeah we're, we did send the transport here we're gonna be getting some soldiers and finding that dead tree so we can get our treasure which I'm gonna send only one soldier out here our one of our pikemen and we, uh, otherwise he's gonna be completely useless anyway because the problem is I mean he ain't gonna do crap, and if the enemy again has a massive amount of ships, they ain't gonna give a crap about your one pikeman. Or if, even if they do, they're just gonna blow him to pieces and he would be dead. His wife will not miss him at all. But that's quite understandable, this is 18th century. So there you go. Now let's find our first treasure of this game. Of course, there's gonna be probably more treasure. It is supposed to be an adventure. You know, the adventure of a lifetime where you're gonna find treasures and, and, and go pirating the Germans and stuff like that. Did someone kill him? Oh, there are guys here. Okay. Okay, I can go with that. So there are guys actually controlling that area. So you know what? I'm gonna t send my musketeers this time around. They are kind of useless. I'm gonna... <laughs> I am chasing them, but there are enemy musketeers, the Netherlands, yet again, and the damnable pirates. Netherlands are pirates since the beginning of the time. These guys are, are not upgraded that much, if anything. They require a small amount of gold, so I'm just gonna go a little bit of an attack and maybe a little bit on a morale upgrade. Again, I do not think this is gonna be one of those, um, mesh, well, one of those campaigns are gonna have a huge you're gonna have huge huge amount of infantry fighting infantry it's gonna be more about ships and stuff like that not, which I'm not a fan of in any RDS game because again I never was a fan of ships fighting other ships because it's kind of un it's it's not natural thing you know it's not human thing which is very fun to watch but nonetheless the point is it, it I, I never liked that so infantry on infantry evil fighting it's amazing Move attack command. Who's gonna win? We are gonna win probably. This is a Musketeer 17th century, the Netherlands version. While well, this is our Musketeer 17th century, England English version. Yeah, just move attack command. That's the smartest thing. You, can. you can't see the enemies inside. Okay, this is kind of a very nice thing because again, if you play against players, you can make ambushes inside the woods, and that's actually quite cool. And plus, you cannot like in Soundstrike when you go over them with your beautiful thingy like this and you will notice where the enemy infantry are and stuff like that well where it where an enemy infantry is and in this one you can't do that so they will always be hidden and you will unless you specifically point on that one freaking target you will know who he is and what he is but other than that 
it's a GG for us all, and at least uh, who get, I mean, the point is, you can get ambushed, and that's cool, and that's freaking cool to me, you can get ambushed completely, so what I'm gonna do now, maybe upgrade the next mines, but again, they all cost a lot of gold, and the third upgrade is 7,750, the fourth upgrade costs 6,000, so it's definitely, there is a difference in, in a ranging of how much gold, what, like, costs, but definitely the fourth, the last upgrade costs much less gold, so that's very important because, again, if you want more mines, especially gold mines, and you know, I mean, every single upgrade for each mine is the same, so all in all, all the mines, very important, again, if you don't have enough gold, you can, I mean, 6,000 6, is not much, so, again, it's better than 7,000 or something. Now where is that tree? I believe it's somewhere around these locations. I could be completely actually wrong, but this is the southernmost island. And we need to find the dead tree. And I'm not seeing the dead tree at all actually. So yeah, there are no dead trees here at all. I'm gonna have to spread. Again, I like this kind of fog of war. It's a dynamic and again, it's constant. And if you don't have eyes or ears, you ain't gonna find anything, but maybe this could be that island. It's just also on the south, but again, it wasn't its southernmost island. Can't freaking remember. There is actually a way to find out about that. I'm gonna get uh, you. Uh, it is that you, yeah, you to see exactly our description of our units and stuff like that. Very important to demon, actually. Very important to demon. But I'm gonna have some. Oh, there is the dead tree. There it is. There is the dead tree, guys. There you go. I, I accidentally saw it because I'm amazing. I have eyes of an eagle and ears of a snake. So there you go. Excellent. We found our treasure. Beautiful. Beautiful. So well, let's see how much gold we'll be getting out of that treasure. We are at 15,000. Do you see what upgrades actually do? Whoa. There are enemy soldiers all around. Uh, yeah, this is definitely telling you, this is a treasure island. The enemy is hiding two girls and three cops of tea for unknown reason. Come on, two musketeers again. My 15 musketeers, seven musketeers, six musketeers, one dead. Come on, go, go, go. Another, okay. And that's it. Excellent. <laughs> In this brushwood near the glade. Your people have found a large brass chest full of pirate treasure. And how much did we gain? Oh my god, 26,000. Jesus. Fudging Christ. I don't remember how much gold we now had, but there you go. 26,000. Damn, that's a freaking lot. Okay, that's a lot. Still, especially now that we actually needed that amount of gold. Specifically now. The, for the upgrade upon our evil thing, which we can hope that is the thing that we need for building of the ships, which is design new rigging ties, because I believe this is the thing that we need for the new ships, and that costs a lot of gold, which which you know we just lost because we yes, yeah, definitely the upgrades are going much faster than you would go in many, maybe many, 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 maybe other games. But again, the game is already slow in certain aspects and stuff like that. So there you go. Nope, we ain't getting shit. So it would seem that I'm definitely missing something, and I do not know what. But that's okay, that's okay, guys, that's okay. We don't need ships to win this one. We don't need ships, though actually we do need all the ships we can get. But still, uh, do we have anything inside here? No. We have that. We might be able to shoot him in the face. We, don't, we will not be able to shoot him in the face. But okay. So they're, 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 this is the, this is the gist of it. We cannot uh, make ships. I do not know why I can't make ships. Demon is a noob. It may be a diplomatic center. I'm, I mean, I'm gonna build every single building just for in case. Who knows what? I built almost every uh, artillery depot. Maybe artillery depots will be better than freaking ships. You, you don't need ships. You need artillery depots for everything. So I'm gonna build artillery depot right here. And I'm gonna build ships. With uh, that's definitely probably the thing that we actually need is the artillery depot so we can know how to actually utilize the ships because you know you need cannons to be yes could be actually it could be it sounds stupid but it could be fuck the upgrades and research and stuff like that but still uh, research granular gun performing power plus 15 I mean if we could utilize that maybe it's gonna also go with the any, any of the any weapon of mass destruction you can utilize gun powder maybe it goes on everything so again very important rate of fire yeah musket is not the big cannon that can kill people that's for sure 
how we're close we are close again we don't need ships flag ships we can build <laughs> mortars and and other things other other things so yeah, and there you go we needed only that so there you go mm -hmm. but we can uh, because we upgraded everything we can finally build but it costs a lot of gold and a lot of wood but we're gonna build other ships we're gonna actually build a bunch of battleships. We're gonna build one here and one here. So much gold, yeah. We are wasted already too. That's okay. I'm gonna converge upon this location here. Excellent. So there you go. We finally have it, guys. We finally have <laughs> the ability to build boats. And I still don't know how I succeed in that. Oh yeah, we build a freaking foundry of water shells and stuff like that, but not really. We just built a beautiful artillery depot, so you definitely need artillery depot to build that, we now we know, but like, still all the upgrade we really took was not, was not for nothing or not for not or whatever, because now we're gonna be utilizing those upgrades, now we can build battleships, and it's amazing, we can already build immediately battleships, and it's a very important thing of course, and we can of course now concentrate on upgrading everything else, now the thing is, I wanna upgrade the iron mine, not the coal mine, specifically the iron mine, because again it's very important for our uh, bullets and our cannons and our stuff. And we're gonna be utilizing a lot of the, those. Let's see, iron 31,000, 20,000 coal. So it's not that bad at all at the moment. We could build more of our uh, ports. So let's build more of those ports. Did, okay, let's build more of those. Uh, where shall I build? That's the question. I prefer to have them close to each other instead of here because they're gonna be spread out too much and I can concentrate everything on this specific opening here and then move towards the enemy if need be so maybe I'm gonna build a one right here yeah right right here yeah like right here now I'm gonna concentrate all my firepower on that battle station because we need to destroy the cannon towers and if he doesn't have a massive view towards us he, we will be destroying it completely and also, these guys are mostly dead. So, again, you will see the massive destruction. 16,700 or from 20,000. 13, there you go. Already in fire, that means it's going to explode inside. Because we touched the ammunition part. And it's going to just go kajaboom. And there you go. All the towers, like, they were nothing. And even if you wasted a massive amount of, <laughs> of stone to just keep them alive it's still again you can see that it's completely sometimes you really it's not gonna be your ultimate defense it's not gonna hold out for 500 years we only had like three frigates and they totally destroyed it and of course touched that ammunition depot and they exploded like nobody's bitch quite an amazing achievement right there and we didn't lose anyone as of yet these bastards will be dying mind you but they will be first and foremost getting some eyes upon the enemy maybe destroying completely everything they have now let's see how much room we can have per transport 80 men inside i believe this is a good day to die but not really we won't be dying today we'll be just getting more men inside here thank you very much excellent we're gonna transport them as soon as possible uh, oh yeah open the doors of hell and they're still stuck some not okay no okay so they do things so the air is okay okay i have a problem so that's probably because we destroyed all those walls the enemy attacks from these locations so the enemy always have eyes on you no matter what but again we did make it very close to them so they probably already had eyes i mean the alone the view we get out of anything is massive oh yeah this is what we need faster ship building and again we get more stuff because we build that uh, beautiful artillery foundry we have more stuff to upgrade as you can see accuracy of artillery fire now we need to remember where exactly uh, yeah vessel speed building 10 times faster we're gonna immediately build that very important for us because we need to keep, we can't wait for battleships for 500 days that's gonna take too long and I do not have that much time but but we have always the second mission at some point thank you Thank you. Now we'll be building these guys very fast. Probably a little bit faster, if nothing. I mean, these are the last line. I mean, this well, you know, for the for the 17th century, these battleships. That's why I'm building more ports so we can build more battleships at the same time and not worry. Okay, one of them got stuck. One of them, not all of them, but one of them said, "You know what? I just prefer going in the circles and being amazing that way because that's my Englishman job because English people are that much smart so there you go 
N no pun intended upon the evil English people. They're evil, nonetheless. Though it wasn't a pun, though, also, but there you go. So I believe we'll be needing to destroy all these galleys. They're all German galleys, also. Mm. Okay, so here you go, an officer and a drummer. Now, all these are very important to have inside your armies. Drummer adds something, officer is needed to make a squad, and in squads they are much better, professional and sexy like that. Uh, but before all that, we're gonna upgrade as much as possible, because again, it only costs something so stupid, it's ridiculous. So we can build also many, uh, many other things. I would like riders because of the heaviness of their armor, but I could get more of the dragoons because of the, you know, from um, where they can fly, they don't get too close to the enemy, but they can run away from them if need be. So what shall be a choice? Let's go with the riders because I want a little bit of medieval action upon the Germans, you know, the good stuff. The very good stuff hunts. Uh, also, again, many upgrades here for us if need be. Uh, we upgrade the faster shipbuilding and stuff like that. Uh, research new side devices for artillery shooting. Okay, for artillery shooting. Okay, so this is specifically for the artillery. Uh, that's okay, but what's okay? Firing power. Okay, maybe this. I'm gonna go with gold. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna go with this. That's 6,000 gold, but it's for gun power alone, so I'm guessing it. It's for everything. And finally, we have our battleship. Look at those beauties. Look at them, English battleship. Goal upkeep. Oh my god. 18,000 upkeep? For one? Jesus. <laughs> 18,000. My god, man. Like, can I... Oh, I, <laughs> I got that upgrade 6,000. That was bad. Let's get immediately to the market and sell some stuff. Oh, my God. Yeah, 53,000. How much would we have? We have a 300. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. We can go with this. 61,000 for this. Yeah, we can go again. Thank you very much. Okay, now we have enough gold to not worry for a little bit, but we'll be utilizing this immediately I mean it doesn't tell you the upkeep or every single thing when you go over it so I would like a description on everything like that because again this is not helping me so we have a frigate we have a galleys and frigates we have so Bella should do something a little nicer I mean these guys are monstrosities with the upkeep alone but let's see the description of them first class battleship a high rate of fire and firepower requires much gold spends like a little coal and iron, low maneuverability, which again, uh, as long as you, I guess, have gold, uh, very important, but again, we do not have that option, we only have one gold mine fully upgraded, thankfully, thankfully that helped, but there you can see 15,000, we're still struggling a lot, we are still struggling a lot, but let's see how much firepower it has going to be against what the enemy actually has, we can wait a little bit more for some galleys, uh, again, these guys will die very fast, that's a fact, you know, that's just a fact, because again, we're not... We're not having much luck with keeping things alive. And I don't know if I should go towards these guys, but I believe I'll have to. So, yeah, I'll have to kill these guys anywho. Uh, so let's go towards these locations. Uh, it's The problem is the gap of Rohan. Okay? That's the problem. The gap of Rohan here. Uh, small uh, enemy galleys. Could eat, eat us alive. Oh, these these guys have an artillery stuff, so they shouldn't pose that much of a problem. Open fire. Okay, we're gonna spread our boats while our main battleships weighs the living fuck out of the enemy, hopefully. There you go. That's what I like to see. Let's move this frigate a little bit closer. The closer we are to the enemy, uh, more damage, but that, that same applies to them. You know, they're, they're more accuracy towards them, so there you go. Let's see how much damage we can do. I don't mind if I actually lose these guys. I'm already at 13,000 gold. So there you go. I could go for a little bit of friggin'. Let's see how much... Uh, how much I have to spend on uh, well, well, keeping these things alive. From what we noticed, not much. So I'm gonna cost you another battleship for in case and be amazing that way and let's see what's happening here we lost another one quite understandable okay i mean these guys were low on health anyway since the very beginning of the time so there you go but again massive <laughs> range of our guys is there and thankfully not all of their galleys are firing upon us 
also a very important thing. I don't think these guys will match my speed and ferocity of my battleships, but we're already taking some damage on one of them. And as you can see, it's very, very far off. Oh, as you can see, galleys build very fast now. Very important to know. Okay, let's get a little bit closer now. I know this maybe should not have been the attacking pattern of ours. Maybe we could have avoided completely, but I want to destroy most of my enemies if need be, just for in case. Maybe they're gonna uh, attack us at some point, maybe not, I have no clue. We'll see soon enough. So let's see, our, one of our galleys here. Battleship, all of them ready again. Wow, we are that fast. Just see how much helps the upgrade alone for the uh, speed building of this damnable thing. Oh my god, the coal is going down. We need to get a little bit closer. The coal is getting fudged. Yeah, we're gonna have a little bit of a problem here. We are losing mass amount of gold, coal. Uh, so yeah, gold is gonna be a big, big ass problem. So let's again go on to the market. I'm gonna get uh, for 51. I'm gonna do this. 61 now I need. To, okay. Okay. I'm gonna need to keep the gold alive as much as possible. I don't know what happens when you lose all the gold. That's the thing. Where are my galleys? I know I sent them somewhere. I know where exactly they are. Oh, there you are. Thank you very much. Okay, let's get closer. We need to get closer. We have the battleship, they have the shitty stuff. Let's get closer and do a mass amount of damage with all the guns. Hopefully they don't shoot at us with something very special or hit the critical upon us. That would be a problem. But even if I lose a battleship, I'm not dead. <laughs> It's not a bad thing, mostly because we're not gonna be uh, having to uh, have to have an upkeep for it. A dark squadron has spotted your ships. Hey, you English, get ready to uh, fight, or rather, get ready to die. You're already all dead, so you know your 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 so-called pretenses. That you're amazing. You're not really amazing, really. Oh, this one went to the different world. He is completely dead. Okay, excellent. Maybe I don't have to destroy their colony. I assume I just need to destroy their main ships. Which is totally fine by me, to be honest. Okay, because we'll need a lot of stuff, a lot of resources. Let's concentrate on, on wood. Because that, that's the thing of the future, it would seem. Okay, everyone, ready? Let's attack this location now. We could attack this location, but we're not gonna care. We're gonna destroy our main target and end the mission there, if need be. Unless we just need to destroy also their uh, secondary positions. That would actually be a little bit problematic. Let's see, gold, 8,000. We need to reach that position, the enemy position, as fast as possible before the end time comes. Yeah, this is gonna take a while though. Uh, let's see, maybe we can upgrade. Wait, we don't have enough gold to upgrade anything anymore, so what we have is what we have. I just need to concentrate on selling stuff, uh, selling wood. At least wood is going well. I mean, it still holds the same, 5,000. And so, for 61,000, let's see. So, ooh, stone is not bad. Uh, 100, okay, for 61,000, I can get this. Okay, I'm gonna go for that. Again, I don't want to lose all the gold. I may lose uh, people, though, if you have mercenaries you will actually uh, lose those guys they will desert and that will be a gg for us all in a very bad manner of gg-ness wow this guy this guy has issues yeah i'm thinking he's the one that is actually blocking because he's not as fast as these but no he's actually much faster than these so they're not really the, he's not the problem he's not the problem actually so yeah, I was thinking of invasion upon their island, but I believe that was gonna be unnecessary because maybe they don't have anything. Uh, but at least we know that we have to destroy all their ships onto the southern part where we have actually noticed them. But there you go. Open far as soon as possible. Thank you very much. There you go. What they have? They have frigates, frigates, and mostly frigates. Thankfully, only three firing upon us. Let's get one of our battleships a little bit closer. 
just a tad bit closer. What the hell is that? Okay, they are frigates, even though some of them actually look like battleships. Open all guns, Mother Humpers. As you can see, the battleships definitely can take a lot of damage from the frigates alone. And that's, I believe, mostly probably one of their last, last ships. But there are a lot of others also there. All in all, we're that close to the end of the level, guys. We're that freaking close. And with only a few ships, mind you. We're not, we're not like having a massive amount of ships. We're doing only a few ships. I'm gonna save here. I'm actually gonna save here like a boss. Because the game might crash. The evil things might happen. And again, this is an RTS game. So it's not like one thing. You know, like go through the entire level with no saving. That would be ridiculous and stupid. And finally... Yeah, destroying completely. Just look at the damage. Lost the battleship. I finally lost one of the battleships. Quite understandable. Ooh, coal. Very bad. If we can actually... If we're gonna lose coal, we need to sell something for the coal. So we need coal. We're gonna sell wood for the coal. Uh, get that shit. Thank you very much. Excellent. We are secured for our guys to actually have, have enough stuff to open fire with. Because if we lose the coal and iron, it's gonna be bad. Iron is a okay, but coal is not that good. So definitely have to worry about constantly mining. Constantly need to be worry about your resources. You don't have enough mines. You have to worry about how many ships you have, how much they actually waste of ammo and stuff like that. And there goes so left only with two battleship. Or well, both of them not that good in terms of health, but oh, criticals. It's all about the criticals. So let's go over here. I believe there might be more guys onto these locations. Also, if you want to see what messages you had, so you have like show game information, uh, turn, I don't know, uh, message history, uh, previous, okay, and yeah, not that, okay, 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 well, we all know we need to kill stuff, and that that's the entire point. I mean, it's not like you have to defend but there might be those kind of missions where you only have like one unit and you have to traverse the glorious Caribbean and then the Bermuda Triangle if need be but yeah <coughs> did we actually kill all of them under the southern part that's the question that means that I'm left only with one choice guys to go onto that location there and do the bad and the ugly send all my troops onto the land and destroy their main encampment if need be the problem here is again we're losing a lot of gold this, this, this cost in terms of battleships is too much if even can't handle all that there might be some of these guys onto the southern portion here like uh, right there at the end maybe 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 not at all no nothing I'm gonna still go towards this maybe there's someone hidden but it doesn't look like it so that would mean that I have done everything I can in terms of these locations so let's go back here hopefully by then we'll still have enough gold or something to sell for the gold we have wood is a okay food is a okay that's 335 food we can immediately sell some food even though the food is not going that well for the gold as you can see well actually it is now 8,000 for, for 61,000 food well, I'm gonna do that let's see Coal, 23,000, 29,000 iron, gold, well, okay, gold, gold is always a pro, oh, wait, I bought the wrong thing, then, I uh, yes, 61, I pressed, I, ah, see, I was like, wow, that's uh, too much for the food, but I sell the wrong thing, nonetheless, let's buy that for 60, wow, food for this doesn't go well, iron, yeah, iron for, uh, for 61, thousand iron for gold is 15 like cheese that's a lot actually that's a lot but how much iron do we have yeah I'm not gonna of course waste that I'm gonna just go away the most basic wood and uh, stone so I'm gonna do that immediately that's something I actually have well stone not anymore <laughs> but at least we're secured about gold for a time being I'm gonna build some frigates this time around. Two frigates here. And finally see the upkeep. I totally forget. Yeah, oh yeah, their upkeep is only in, in coal and iron. So when they shoot. So we don't have to worry about uh, gold for these guys, thankfully. So that's cool. That's great, actually. It's amazing. I can mass those instead of just the battleships. But it's nice to see the battleships in action. Uh, very important. Very, very important. 
Uh, okay, because of that, we're gonna build the most regular bastards. We're gonna upgrade most regular bastards and then uh, buy some other regular bastards. Let's build another barracks right here. We get more soldiers out of there and then attack the enemy's encampment, destroy them completely. That we completely did destroy all of their stuff. I'm gonna check with one of the fishing boats if there might be one of those bastards. Maybe. Oh, wait, he's going for it, eh? Okay, he's going around all that. That's okay. He's, he can check that crap out if there is something around these locations that actually missed. Okay. Open fire. Open fire upon them. Look at that damage we're doing with only battleships, mind you. With only the battleships. And, of course, they're not really gonna do much. They have, like, a few of the cannons... But honestly, look at the damage we are actually inflicting. That's actually a gold mine, is it? Yes, it is. I believe that's a gold mine. So, is there anything here? No. That's fine by me. Ah, so now we have our frigates. Let's move them towards these locations. Actually, they can move towards these locations. Surround the last island of known origin of the German army. Okay, move in. Kill everything in sight. There are a few ships, well, like a yacht, but that's not gonna do a lot of damage upon my massive fleet of awesome, as you can see here. I mean, battleships against the yacht, we know the battleship is gonna lose, maybe. And yeah, definitely nothing on the bottom here. So that means that I have actually cleared everything. That means that I also have to clear every single part in their main encampment, their main colony, to actually win. I was being certain that it was mostly just destroying their ships, but not, not at all. I don't mind, mind you, I don't mind that. Come on, guys, you can kill one stupid cannon with so many. It would be funny if you actually, the cannon destroyed one of our battleships big just cause. Yeah, this is going to be a GG for our enemies. There goes another tower. And I think it's time for our landing party, our raider party, to do the thingy, to do the talking, you know, to do the talking. Just get a little bit close and personal. Hey, we are English, you're American, we kill you. Uh, good stuff, bye-bye. You know, it's amazing stuff. Yeah, destroy everything, everything possible. And I don't know where else to go. I mean, I have killed everything known to man. Unless I have to kill, kill every single thing they actually have on the map, I do not know. I do not know. Maybe we have to even kill all <laughs> all these things. That would be stupid. That would actually be stupid because when you out to attack the enemy, out to move, well, move attack a man, they're not targeting their freaking defenses like those. So yeah. Well, we have cleared everything that we know about. This is our starting position at the very beginning of the mission. Is that it? Is the question. How much gold? 4,000. We'll see what's gonna happen when we lose that gold, though. Okay, you know what? Because we don't know anything anymore, we do, well, in terms of what enemy actually has, but I believe it just destroyed every single enemy uh, ship of the line. So we're gonna concentrate just on that. We know that there are, there's some pirates around these locations. We don't, we're not gonna waste our time because they are not our objective. The evil Germans, the second-rate Germans are that to be honest they're not germans but we not just love calling them the, the the dutch people the true germans of the true germany hitler would be proud now let's see let's locate uh, some nice uh, coast to land well we can you have a choice man you have a massive choice and yes there's a move there are more towers left and right let's see gold a okay moving on Come on, kill that freaking yacht. Then come the battleships to save the day. Of course. Let's get our guys out. Thank you very much. Can we get out or didn't okay, I need to get a little bit closer to the coast. You can see the X telling you that marks the spot for the amount of gold you're gonna be getting, but not really. And yeah, I believe there are some of those here, right? If I'm not mistaken. I could be mistaken. There are a gazillion of those there. So I could totally be mistaken. Okay, that's done. 
Excellent job, guys. Moving in attack formation. Rape, pillage, and burn. Not like there's anything to rape, pillage, and burn, but just saying. But you're just gonna go towards him. Spread my forces. You can see the immediately on pike formation. That means they're gonna shoot someone. How much gold? 2,000. Let's see what's gonna happen when our gold goes down. I just hope these guys don't, like, all immediately start attacking our guys. But I don't think that's gonna be it, though. They might, might like, slowly lose health or something. That would be kind of stupid still, but still, I don't know. I don't know. Well, never, we, I never experienced loss of gold in, you know, well, and looked at the basic units you can actually have, well, your own faction unit compared to mercenary. And the mercenaries desert you and say, bye-bye, I'm going home. But these guys, I have no idea. We'll see. 1,000 gold, getting close. Oh, my God. Okay, battle, they're battleships. You know what? Uh, yeah, I'm going to actually... Yeah, fuck that. I'm not finding out. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Get that. Thank you very much. How much gold? 15. A okay, like a boss. How much battleship? 40,000. There are two battleships of theirs. So I'm gonna concentrate with my own frigates. Because they're amazing. We all know this to be true. They're truly amazing. Two frigates per, per frigate. And that's gonna be amazing. Let's see. We lost. We lost the Battle of Atlantis. Unbelievable. They they are getting cl probably close now towards us because they actually have lost the battle and the war. So I'm gonna get two battleships because I'm about okay. One battleship. You don't need to be a douchebag about it. Okay, maybe no battleships at all because there that eats a lot of freaking things. We're just gonna make frigates. Uh, tell these guys also to go towards these locations and let's see what's happening no they're actually not getting close towards us at all spread these guys left and right so yeah I, I guess only have to destroy certain of their ships and that's it I'm gonna leave that frigate alone for now there's another frigate here which will be taking getting over here I'm gonna all converge in that one location and then attack the battleships even though the battleship should be able to destroy everything we have uh, hopefully they won't, uh, but still, most of my battleships were damaged and all that, all those bells, so hell's bells. Let's see how how the gold is going. The gold is actually going very fast up. Uh, very important, of course. Let's see, we have wood ninety one thousand, food twenty five thousand. Amazing. <laughs> All in all, it gets a little bit chaotic uh, with just a little bit of fighting here and there. And the thing about me when I play these RTS games, specifically Age of Empires, Empire Earth or something like that, is when you're playing a longer time, you know, it, it, it gets kind of strange and kind of awkward and kind of uncool. And then you like, you just want to finish the level for some unknown reason. At least I do. And I don't know why. I'm just evil like that. And that, that that's actually kind of a wrong thing to think when you play games. You just you just want to finish them. It's like you're not enjoying them and something like that. But if that's actually not truly really the case. It's just not truly really amazing like Demon. Uh, Battleship. Uh, gold 4,500. Uh, do we have anything to sell? Food and wood if we want one of the battleships. But I don't think all these frigates will be doing much of a damage upon all those two battleships. There are two battleships, manager. Two battleships will eat all these frigates up. But the thing about these frigates, they don't waste anything in terms of, like, let me see, general tap. Uh, wait, they do actually waste gold, yes, but only 187. I mean, the battleship eat the fucking thing. Medium range military vessel does not require financing requires uh, much coal and iron to fire that's okay that shouldn't be a truly the deep deep problem here the problem will be if these guys can actually do any damage against two battleships <laughs> i mean these we're going to talk talking about the freaking battleships here we're not talking about some small frigates like mine we're talking about fucking battleships and that means we need a nice attack pattern so that means we need all of them to like surround the enemy and shoot from all the sides while they are concentrating on one or two ships we'll see how that's gonna go okay let's set up a nice line here before engaging the enemy Germans the Dutch people the Netherlands people uh, can we actually upgrade something more upon we probably can but it's probably always is the goal uh, to upgrade certain points upon your uh, vehicles uh, let's see handguns no 
Uh, no. Uh, improved fireman rifle barrel, no. Um, again, maybe the artillery thing helps. Huh? Shooting accuracy for artillery. I mean, it could count as an artillery, so to speak. But I don't think that's it. Maybe at some point we'll check it out when we start utilizing artillery. But not now. Okay, moving in. Finally, time to uh, do our job, our duty for the motherland and for the fatherland. And destroy those battle ships. I mean, look at look at this formation. Formation Pegasus. This is that's how it's gonna call formation Pegasus. These three will be firing from these locations, or we'll be encircling the last of them. There you go, encircle, encircle. Excellent. They're actually in a patrol route. Gonna concentrate on one battleship at a time. Go. Get closer. Open fire. Excellent, get closer. No, get now. Open fire. Yes! <laughs> yeah, you see that? Tactics. I'm a true admiral of a Dutch people. Outstanding. The Dutch battle troops are down. I repeat, the Black Hawk is down. And nothing can prevent your colony from being built. Well, they didn't, they didn't even try to attack us. So reality-wise, they didn't even give a fuck. We just killed civilians. You have worked hard in the name of the English people. And now you deserve a good rest. Victory or failure, you decide.